excellent. All systems, full power! Look at me! I'm your brilliant creator, Dr. Robotnik. You're the second of my E-100 model machines! E-102, codename Gamma! Gamma. That's right! You will now obey only me. Alrighty, welcome back to the Sonic Adventure commentary with me, Scully the Metalhead. Um... Gamma story, prepare for cutscenes galore. The shooting range is through this door. Your big brother, E-101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. So, ironically, the final egg is Gamma's first stage. And you also have Dean Bristow narrating your way through, which is so, so good, because his gravelly voice is just... Ugh. I can't get enough of Dean Bristow's Eggman voice, it's fantastic. Anyway, Gamma, guess, getting to brass tacks with his gameplay. It's a uh, shooter gameplay. Uh, you don't button mash, but you do lock onto targets, and, you know, doing so will grant you time. Uh, the time varies between... I think it's up to from like 1 to 15 seconds, and, you know, you have to get a time bonus, for reasons that I'll explain a little bit later, because we don't quite have enough time with all these mountainous cutscenes that are just everywhere. One thing I will say first up though, is that it is really fantastic to finally have a story where you get to see what things are like on the other side of the camp as one of Dr. Eggman's, you know, robots. Good job, Gamma! I didn't think you had what it takes! Okay then, Gamma. Here's your test! If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it. So pay attention to what I say! The almighty Egg Carrier is a flying fortress that needs a good crew! Come forth, Beta! I'd like you to meet your older brother, E-101! Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other, and the winner serves on my ship. I put my bets on Beta, but I owe you at least a fair chance. Yeah, prepare to see this sort of boss battle a lot, because this pretty much makes up for the entirety of Gamma's fights, save for one against Sonic. Which is a bit of a shame though, because I really do like the music. It's, again, simple to some people, but it is still badass all the same. That being said though, one thing I can comment on while we still have time is that I love how Dr. Eggman... I just love seeing Dr. Eggman in a more domestic setting. Not quite in the same sense as what you would have seen in Sonic Boom or anything, where it's played more for comedy. But more so in the sense that it's just laid back and played straight, you know? Ho ho ho! You surprised me, Gamma! I had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the Egg Carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? Okay, okay. We can always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission.
Ah, testing one, two, three. <clears throat> you, the elite egg carrier crew, are here today to hear a very special announcement. Behold, it's a tail frog. Very unique. This frog is absolutely vital to my plans. I command you to locate this frog immediately. You hear me? I don't care what it takes to get it. Just bring it to me. We haven't got time to waste. So come to attention. So we have our mission. We have our E-Series brothers helping us out. Well, actually we don't, otherwise that would mean co-op gameplay. Now, a lot of Gamma's story is... Again, it's a very interesting story because it takes Sonic Adventure's slice of life philosophy, but then applies that to somebody on Dr. Eggman's side. And again, a lot of people probably already know this already, but I will, you know, reiterate for those two people who don't know, or maybe for the two people that aren't Sonic fans and are watching this. Um, Gamma was initially brought into the Sonic series because, and again, I'm not necessarily sure whether or not this is Japanese or American fans here, but fans apparently wanted a shooter component gameplay in a Sonic game, so instead of giving Sonic a gun or anything like that, Sonic Team decided to make, you know, one of Dr. Eggman's robots a playable character in the game, and allow them to see how the other side live, which I think was a fantastic way of doing it, and again, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh, Sonic having a gun? Oh no, worst game ever, 0 out of 10. But again, I do really like the dynamic that they have with Gamma here. And, like, it's not even a robot in the sense that, yes, I am a robot, I shall speak my intentions. It's done more so in a very silent and, well, story-wise, it's almost a... not really sure how to describe it. I mean, you'll be able to tell as we go on in the story, because things are very, very basic right now. We're a robot, we're just listening to whatever orders our master has given us, and we're expected to complete them. But in a way, that's also a bit of... that's also a genius bit of storytelling on Akinori Nishiyama's part. And anyway, our first mission is, is to retrieve Froggy, which is in, which is not in Big Sand for some reason, but then again, I suppose this could be Gamma's interpretation of what's going on. You know, given the campfire effect and everything with Sonic Adventure, but who knows? Must determine location. Accessing data. No data found. Location unknown. This presents a problem. Why Takal decided to show Gamma of all people this vision of the past, I have no idea. Guarding these children? He's a very loving and gentle creature. These little creatures are too vulnerable without its protection. This 
protection allows them to continue singing in peace. Even I was surprised the first time I saw him. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. It seems his heart is closed off to us all. My true hope is that someday we'll understand each other. This frog's the one we want. No, here's the real one. My frog is the right one. Ah, dummies, 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 dummies! None of you got the right one! We must find the frog with Chaos's tail! That same frog has also swallowed a Chaos root. Ah! Ah! There it is! Right there! I'm proud of you, Gamma! I knew you'd be of use to me! All you worthless hunks of junk, be gone! You will get a new assignment. This one's easy. Go to the room through that glass door. Once there, you'll find a girl and a bird. Just get me that bird! Now, go! Is this the one? This is the wrong room. Holy fuck is there a huge amount of cutscenes, and... Again, as you could probably tell there, Gamma's story is more of the unspoken word than it is something that's directly told to you. And again, it relies very much upon, you know, the music and staging and, well, generally the emotion built up throughout the scene itself, which, you know, coming from robots is actually... Fantastic, as it, as it really does allow you to get a lot of introspection from the fact that they aren't really talking and saying how they feel. But I'll talk about more of that later. Give me the bird. No way! Resistance is futile. Give me the bird. I said no! Why not? None of your business, why not? I want to 
want to know why you want it. Data unavailable. You don't even know? I bet you'd be mean to him, you bully. Why not help us out instead? Don't you know how bad I feel? Does not compute. Why try to save that which is useless to you? Does not compute. I feel sorry for you. Eggman failed to give you feelings. Wait a minute, Birdie! Get going! Huh? Why are you letting us go? It is dangerous here. Hurry! We'll be arriving at the Mystic Ruins base soon. So, you're not like those other robots, huh? You truly are a good person inside, aren't you? I guess we can be friends then. Take care, okay? Yeah, okay, now I finally have a section where I can talk. Um, there won't be this many cutscenes, or at the very least at mo yeah, as much next time, so I will be able to get out a lot of my thoughts there, but... Yeah. Again, there's a very big question that I also want to tackle here. It's mostly in regards to Gamma himself as a character, because again, as... Ooh, I'm tempted not to spoil this, but I probably won't have a chance to talk about it otherwise. But yeah, like a lot of Dr. Eggman's robots around this time, there is an animal inside him. And there's been... Uh, something of... Again, I don't think it's ever outright stated who's in control here, whether it's the animal inside or if it's Gamma himself, you know, the artificial intelligence that's making the decisions. But I would kind of like to... Oh, again, and my little theory here is that I kind of like to think that it's both. I mean, the bird in some sense, I think, is probably recognizing its past family member, and as a result of that, it conflicts with Gamma, you know, the artificial intelligence's programming, and that it starts to get, you know, what's inside it, you know, the values in which the bird has towards its family, conflicting with his own, you know, very rigid, logical-based programming. And I find that very interesting to think about, because, you know, it really does add a new dynamic to Gamma's character. Like, I mean, it's, he's a robot that's, you know, programmed to follow a very rigid set of instructions by whoever his current master is, but he can also act independently, as you'll uh, probably be seeing in the next part. Which does make it quite interesting to see, you know, what Gamma prioritizes and, you know, who exactly is in control here. I don't know, this is very fascinating, and it's an avenue of the Sonic series I would love to see the series explore. But, I don't know, like, I mean, especially with how Sonic Team is today, I kind of get the impression that they would probably never explore something like this ever again. Most especially with the fact that guns in Sonic are already a pretty sour issue, mostly thanks to Shadow the Hedgehog in 2005. Uh, I don't know. It's potential that I don't think everybody would accept, and even if, you know, a Gamma-like character were to come back into the series, I don't think it would be as widely accepted. How can I serve you, Dr. Robotnik? Eradicate all of those menaces! Give them all your have! Aye, aye, sir. I will comply. I'm counting on you, Gamma! Yeah, this is a battle you've seen before, so just fire away and, well, destroy Sonic as he says, oh no. Oh no, it's the meme thing, except not funny because it's not Knuckles, it's a meme. Yeah, whatever. I'm Scully, keep a new metal, and next time on the Sonic Adventure commentary, more Gamma.
Got you then. Stop, Mr. Robot! Amy? Hey, Mr. Robot. I know you're not an evil sword. Wait, remember me? Amy! Oh, I really don't get this. Look, the egg carrier's losing altitude. We've got to split. Take Amy and go. What would you do? I'll nail that Eggman. He must be stopped at all costs. Thanks again for saving me as usual, Sonic. And how are you, my metal friend? It's dangerous here. Why not leave Eggman and come with us? Why do you help me? I told you we'd be friends the next time we met. Even Birdie wants the best for you. You must ditch that awful Eggman. Amy, come on! 